Hey, Sean, really nice seeing you. Now the other way around, because right. now we're good to ask you some questions. We're here at uh, Dell Technology World. How is it so far for you, the event? Oh, look, it's a, a really, really exciting program, and you all have put out so many announcements, and it's, it's kind of difficult to summarize it, but I could give it a go. I guess what I heard through the keynotes and through some of my meetings is that technology is no longer just the province of the IT department. That's any business. But technology, that is the business, regardless of what you're doing. And I think with the kind of rise of interest in artificial intelligence, think of it in five pieces, uh, data, infrastructure, ecosystem, services, and then use cases. So it's been really well articulated and a really compelling narrative. And with, the, with that, I mean, as we're here talking about a lot of the telecom, how, how do you see our service providers, our service provider partners, really embrace the AI and actually use that and, and be able to monetize that with their, with their enterprise customers? Well, I guess kind of two big buckets, right? Customer facing and internal facing. Um, early days, right? So uh, we're seeing chatbots for customer care, retention, cross-sell, upsell, just kind of a more sticky offering so you can drive ARPA, right? For the enterprise customers, I mean, there's going to be a lot of developments in the next few years, I think. So we'll see the low-hanging fruit first. So what does that mean? It would mean with your service provider customers, you're selling your connectivity and. So one example of that would be the AIPC lineup that we saw announced yesterday. Really valuable tool for productivity and for efficiency. If you can put those in the hands of your sales force, particularly people that are mobile, mm -hmm. that's going to be a very powerful tool. From there, lots more interesting things that can come when you combine connectivity, edge computing, generative AI capabilities, and that's carpeted industries, heavy industries, just across the board. Very good. And then from that standpoint, I mean, did you see it from industry specific? Is there ones that are really kind of prime as that low hanging fruit, as you kind of mentioned, that you see uh, for, you know, that can really benefit the most or more quickly? Yeah, I, it's, it's a good question and it's a tough question because everybody has kind of individualized needs. But if I look across the verticals, I, I tend to think of it in terms of time to ROI on the mm -hmm. investment. So I think when you look at your Fortune 2000s, they're obviously going to lead the way. Manufacturing seems to be a lot of interest just because it is, you know, particularly discrete manufacturing. So many moving pieces, so many processes, so many workflows that need to be adaptable. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that just gets beyond what people can do, literally what they can do. So that assistance will really, I think, be very meaningful to manufacturing industry. And it really seems like we're at this point where We've had a lot of things that are happening that you would construe as digital transformation, but AI really kind of ties them all together. So then more concretely for indeed manufacturing, what are some of the examples where our talks need to think about in order to monetize some of that investment that they're going to make? Well, you know, it's all about that kind of bridge between IT and OT, right? Where the people on the shop floor are a bit disconnected from the folks that are running the IT infrastructure and that complexity gets a bit compounded when you put cellular into the mix. So the goal really is to simplify the consumption and focus on the outcome, kind of hide the complexity of what's going on in the IT stack, what's going on with your private radio network, and just put tools into people's hands so that they can really do their jobs better. You, you mentioned the cellular. So from the standpoint, do you see now that AI is going to help really bring that promise of those private 5G networks or, you know, or is it just, you know, an enabler or what's, what's your thoughts there? Because it seems to be that, you know, you, with private 5G would take off a little more quickly. Yeah, you know, most operators, they're really good at building macro networks the logic gets much more difficult when you try to downsize that to a single business at a single site or a business at multiple sites. So I think what we're seeing right now is everybody knows that private cellular is going to be incredibly impactful for enterprise, but it's really just about aligning your investments against very clear ROI and then going through with those use cases. So there will be a period of experimentation, but we've seen a lot of really compelling joint go-to-market strategies, what you all are doing with Nokia, for mm -hmm. instance. So I think AI, you know, that's top of mind for every CIO, CTO in the enterprise space. 
once they can really understand the power of AI plus private cellular, I think we're going to really see a ramp. And then if you, if you take that even further, right, so now what we're seeing too is that hybrid mobility, right, so that we can actually go from private to public. Are you seeing this as something the enterprise customers are really looking for in the, from, from the service providers? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, just for your workforce, you know, that's, you've got to have it. When you're on campus, you need your private connection, and then once you're working remotely or in the field, you need to maintain continuity there. But beyond people, you know, assets in motion, uh, being able to understand the condition and location of something in your supply chain, which uh, you can, if done right, take all of that data, feed it back into your own organization. You can find a lot of new optimization. So there's, there's a lot to it. So from a partner strategy, and that's where, from a Dell perspective, we have been doing co-creation. We're trying to indeed uh, elaborate and strengthen the partnership with our telcos. What do you, what do you see Dell is doing well, and where could we do more in order to grow that partnership with our telcos? Well, so operators have made no secret that growth is going to come from selling into enterprise. How do you do that? Well, you have to understand your customer's business, mm -hmm. whether that's healthcare, manufacturing, whatever, and that's tough to do. That's difficult to do for a sales force to be everything to everyone all at once. With Dell, you've got a company with a 40-year legacy at the edge with enterprise IT, so you already understand the business. So I think co-creation of solutions and really having a joint dialogue with your target customers is how to really open up that market. Very good. So, so just from a you know, wrapping up standpoint from that, is there any other, you know, from advice from the standpoint of looking at it that we should be focused on with, with our service providers, again, with that enterprise customer? Things that you've seen here at Dell Tech World, you know, this, this week. Well, I think it's a good time to reflect, right? Depending on your start date, we're roughly at the midpoint of the 5G cycle, although I don't think that's going to be a 10-year cycle. Mm -hmm. And the revenue lift hasn't really materialized outside of a few pockets like fixed wireless, uh, for instance. Yes. But the best is yet to come. The technology is there, the desire is there, and there's a lot of macro conditions that are gonna force you into adopting this type of technology strategy because you have to. Mm -hmm. Workforce trends is one of them, but just you, adaptability, you know, companies have to be flexible. Very good. All right, well, listen, we, we want to thank you for, you know, taking the time for letting us ask the questions this time, as he said. Yeah, so it's, we're, uh, we're, you know, really appreciate that and, and, and your coverage as well, so thank you. Yeah, thank you all. All right. Yeah.